What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, man, what's cracking? You know who it is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm officially in the building. Whether you like it or not, Warmack knows what the drop so let's get cracking. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna talk about uh, this Hamas a terrorist group because uh, Hamas is labeled a terrorist group, yet in Gaza City, the Gaza Strip, uh, Palestine, for those of those who don't know, Palestine is divided into two camps the West Bank, which is controlled by the Palestinian Authority, and Hamas, which controls the Hamas is the name, it's the um, Gaza, I just said it, Gaza Strip, which the Hamas group controls it. And Hamas is a political, and, and in West Bank, Hamas is a political, social, economic bloodline of that, that part of the West Bank. Like Hamas does is, is basically the government in the West Bank. They, do, they take care of the social needs, the economic needs, and the political needs of the people. They are like what our, our country has for that resources. That's what Hamas does. Okay, now how can a pro, and, and then wonder how can pro West countries uh, label Hamas terrorist group when the people over there voted for? Them? Like, you know, to me that's that's the point I have a problem with. I mean, the people over there, over you know, down there in Gaza City, when they had elections in the Strip, they vote, they had an option. They could have voted for Mahmoud Abbas. And the Palestinian Authority, they could have voted for Hamas. They chose to vote for Hamas in the Gaza Strip. And the people chose that. Now, people are saying, well, they're suffering for their vote and whatever, whatever. But if you, you got to respect the people's will and the people's life. I mean, and you may not like it, but if that's what they want. You know, that's what they want. I mean, the people had a clear democratic vote and elected them to rule, reign over them in that part. But uh, Hamas has found the way that they. they they say a will fire rockets into Israel, which they, they do. You know, Israel has launched a counter strike, yes. And they have allegedly, the Hamas has allegedly brokered, broke a truce, uh, spin, uh, uh, that was really, this truce, they had a truce where they wouldn't, well, you know what a truce is. But this is the Egyptians came and they did their little right, uh, deal negotiations. And then they know it's a truce. But, and usually, I'm surprised because they're Egyptians, you know, but, uh, but it's the people, but as far as Hamas, I know they, they say that they're getting their little ties or they're getting a little support from uh, Iran or whatever, and uh, who are we, but who are we to say something, but at the same time, listen, listen to the parallel I'm saying, what in our freedom fighters? What in our George Washingtons, what in our Thomas Jeffersons, what in our Alexander Hamiltons, our Ben Franklins, those quote unquote freedom fighters, wouldn't they be considered terrorists nowadays? So terrorism should be viewed from the eye of the beholder. Because, like, they weren't. George Washington and all, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, Samuel Adams, and the rest of those guys weren't considered terrorists to America. They were considered terrorists to the British monarch. So who are we to say, well, so-and-so is a terrorist group when they represent the people? It's a little food for thought. I, always, I, I think like this sometimes. I mean, it, may, it gets me in trouble sometimes because that's just the way I think, you know. I can't throw a brick inside a glass house, even though I will sometimes. But, man, eh, you know how it goes. I'm just saying, I mean, I, me, myself, I can't actually call Hamas a terrorist group. As long as they do that stuff for the people and take care of the needs of the people, as long as they're behind their hospitals, behind, I can't, I mean, I don't, I don't think they should fire rockets in Israel and the civilians, but at the same time, I don't think some of them terrorists to the point of, well, like I said, the people, this is the people's will. So, to me, it's a tough call. I don't know about you. Peace. Great guy, he told me to myself.